welcome everyone once again so let's quickly move to the agenda of this video in this video we will be discussing about iot core shadow concept then we will be looking at what are the different types of shadow that are available then how to create a classic shadow and the named shadow using the iot console and also we will be covering that using programmatically and after that we will be publishing and subscribing to device shadow using spring boot and java application so what is a device shadow so if we go by the definition a device shadow is a virtual representation of any physical device so this physical device can be anything it can be a temperature sensor or it can be a mobile or it can be a light bulb and it is the shadow is the virtual representation of that physical device so if we go by the definition of aws uh, we create a thing in the aws console and that things are nothing but the device that are connected to a ut platform so how does a device shadow look like if we go to simplify it more we can call the device shadow as a json document that is used to store the current state or desired state of a device right you can call this as a device shadow it will be having a state that will be a current state of the device and the desired state of a device so this json document is nothing but the representation of a device shadow now coming to type of shadow there are two types of shadow one is the classic shadow and other is the named shadow so this classic shadow or you can also call it as a unnamed shadow this can be only one in number but the named shadow you can have any in number and you cannot name this classic shadow it will be coming as a classic shadow name itself but this named shadow you will be having option to name this shadow and store the state of any device so when do we use a classic shadow and when do we use a named shadow suppose you are having a device that is having many features if you are having a thing as a car it is having multiple features like a location tracker feature the remote door unlock command feature and so many other features are there so in that case we will be using this named shadow to represent different things one shadow you can make it as a location tracker shadow the other shadow you can make it as a remote command shadow and so on right but this classic shadow it will be having some limited uses if you're only performing single kind of task like uh, if it is a bulb it will be only having that state on or off right in that case the classic shadow will be very much helpful for maintaining and a device can have a named shadow as well as the classic shadow at the same time right we will see that in the more details we will go to our iot console first we will make the shadows on the console itself after that we will move for creating the shadows programmatically so i am on my iot core console and here i have gone to things and i have this weather monitor thing which i created in the previous video and if we come here you can see that when you click on device shadow you don't see any shadow because we have not created any shadow you can create it manually and we get the option to create either the named shadow or the unnamed or classic shadow so first we will see classic shadow when we click on the classic shadow the name option will not come you cannot name a classic shadow when we create it you can see the classic shadow here now let's go inside this classic shadow and see what all things it offers so this is the state of the shadow this is nothing but the state of the shadow so this classic shadow will be having two states one is the desired state what you are desiring and what one is the reported state that is what is reported from any device right and it will also be having this metadata where you will be having all the time stamps when it was modified when it was reported all these metadata it will be having it also maintains a version here if you see the version is one if you update something the version will change it cannot go back to one again and the other concept is that there are mqtt topics that are created by default when you create any device shadow and these are the predefined topics that will be generated when you create any shadow so basically uh, this will be having different kind of actions that you can perform on this uh, shadow publish subscribe update you have to use these topics for performing any kind of action we will see that when we are doing it programmatically now let's move to the second type of shadows that is the named shadow you can create a named shadow from here itself the named shadow 
and you can name anything so for example i have this weather monitor device i can create a meaningful shadow city wise weather and you click on create you can see that there is a city wise weather is created and it will also be having some mqtt topics that will be generated by default and in the topics you can see the city wise weather this topic names gets modified according to the name that you have given to this shadow right and you can create any number of named shadows let me go and create one more shadow local weather so this will be having desired state and the reported state so when we are talking about the named shadows there are only two things the desired state and the reported state right but when we are talking about the classic shadow there is one more thing you have to note that when you that suppose you want to change this desired value right so that time the desired value and the reported value if they are different there will be a delta state that will be formed and that will store what is the desired state after the reported state of the device becomes same as the desired state the delta will be removed so that is the concept of classic shadow but that is not there in named shadow it will be only having the desired and the reported states so that's it for the theoretical part now let's move to the practical implementation how we can do that so in our last video we were publishing to this particular topic we were able to publish successfully but on the iot we were getting this message cannot be displayed in the specified format let me correct that one then i will move to publishing to device shadow so uh, we have to send the stringified version of this payload so let me stringify it i will be using this object mapper mapper dot write value as and we will pass this payload now we have to declare the throw statement similarly in the service class as well and in the controller class as well now let me run the application and check if we are getting the error again so published successfully let's go to the console and this time you can see that the temperature 44 that we were sending as a payload that is coming now let's look at the documentation what it says about publishing to a particular shadow so there we can use a blocking api for publishing the to a device shadow and we can also use a non-blocking api so let me copy this piece of code here and use that in our program So this publish method was publishing to this particular topic. Now we will be publishing to the shadow topic. And we are not doing much of the thing here. We are just extending whatever we have written before. So this thing name we have to give to this device. And this thing name is basically the client ID that we have it here, the weather monitor. Let me copy this thing name. Okay, and this client dot attach. This will attach this device to the client. But this thing is already attached to a policy that is controlling what kind of actions that can be performed on this particular device. If we run the program now, we will be getting error because this device is being controlled by some other policy. So let us go and create one more fresh device. And on that fresh device, we will be testing our shadow thing. So we will be going and creating a fresh thing, a single thing, and we will name this thing as a sensor. And we will create no shadow. Click on next. And we will not attach this to any kind of certificate. So we have this sensor here and if you go and check in the device shadow currently there are no shadow assigned to it. Now accordingly we have to change our client ID here we will name it sensor 
and our topic name will also change so for this topic we will be giving the topic name of a classic shadow let me copy the format from different shadow first in the weather monitor we have a classic shadow and i will copy this particular topic and use that in our application in place of this weather monitor i will keep it sensor one more thing after attaching the device we have to connect the client also we are calling this connect client two times from the service layer we are calling this connect client let me disable this because if we are connecting the client for two times we will be getting some exception the client if i am not calling this method this client will be null so let me copy this client from here and keep it here now the payload that we were sending here it will not be accepted in this format when we are interacting with device shadow so how so what format it should be let's go to github and the state should be something like this it should be having this state the reported after that your attribute should come so let me copy this and i will keep it here let me keep it as a string and this state we will be passing as a payload we can also pass this payload or whatever we have designed here but it should be having that state reported or desired into it so i think we are done with it now let's go and run the application one thing you should notice here that we don't have any shadow defined yet if we go to this sensor and go to this device shadow you can see that it is blank now the application is started let me go to postman and run it message published successfully and let's see what happened here let me refresh it and if you see the classic shadow is created automatically i didn't do anything it was created automatically because in the program i gave this topic name and it was following the format that was defined for this classic shadow it automatically generated a classic shadow with it we will also see how we can generate the named shadow there that is also not very complicated you can easily do it following the same process so now when we go to this classic shadow what we see here is that the state reported is 3 and that's what we wanted and if you see the version if uh, the version is 4 because previously also i had created this the thing with this named sensor that's why it is taking the value so that's how you publish to a particular shadow how do we create a named shadow automatically or publish to a named shadow automatically that will be your task that will be your task to do it i will just give you a hint check the format of any named shadow that you have defined i have this named shadow here and i go to the topic names in the topic names i can see this update it is having one uh, a format that is defined here if you copy this topic name and go and keep it in uh, the place of topic right here is the thing name and here is the shadow name right so whatever the shadow name that you want to give you can keep it here and for what device you want to give you can keep it here and you can make it configurable as well whatever you want you can make it configurable and you can automate it right and let me know in the comment section if you were able to configure it and also let me know what other things you want with this iot to be done in the next video we will learn how do we create iot thing on the fly we don't have to go to console every time suppose we have a millions of devices so for millions of devices we cannot go to the iot console and every time we create a thing on the console so it should be automated right so in the next video we will learn how we can uh, create the things automatically on the fly and how to attach the certificate and policy to the things all these things we will learn in the next video thanks for watching subscribe to the channel so that i will get the motivation to make more such videos like this thank you